but we begin with the weather. Millions in the south are going nowhere this morning. That's because of an unusually paralyzing winter storm. Sunbelt cities like Virginia Beach are waking up to several inches of snow. The storm is making travel nearly impossible along a 1,000-mile path. The storm front stretches all the way to Texas this morning. A state of emergency is in effect for six southern states. Mike Paluska of our affiliate WGCL is in Atlanta where people have been trapped overnight. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Yeah, it's been a heck of a day here. This is the downtown connector, and we just want to show you the de that what we're dealing with. There is a lot of ice still here. This car, it's been here for a couple of hours now. People just got out of work earlier today. They got stranded. They got caught in the snow. There were students that were on buses. They were stranded for hours on end. Ninety of them just rescued from Atlanta police. Really, as soon as the first snow started to fall, everybody jumped in their cars, and they headed home at the same time. 30 minute trips turned into commutes to nowhere after a rare mix of snow and ice slammed into the south. This is absolutely positively ludicrous. Drivers captured video of bumper to bumper traffic in Atlanta where many were left stranded for hours. Some fled to makeshift shelters at local Home Depots. But Jacob Ivey, who got into his car at 11 a.m. Tuesday, was still stuck in his car when we spoke to him early this morning. It's like no food, no water. The closest gas station to walk is like 18 minutes away by car. People are running out of gas, just abandoning their cars. The Georgia State Patrol reported nearly a thousand accidents, and the state's governor pleaded with everyone to stay off the roads. We need to keep the roads as clear as possible of people and of traffic so that we can actually treat the highways. <sighs> Icy conditions made it impossible for school buses and parents to get to kids. With no way home, hundreds of children slept in their classrooms. The storm brought much of the region to a standstill. It is not moving at all. On a backed up highway in Alabama, a local grocery store handed out food and water to trap drivers, but some abandoned their cars altogether. We couldn't even get that far. People were blocking the intersection and getting out of their cars and walking. It was a similar scene all the way to Texas, where our Austin station, KI, caught one crash on camera. But uh, traffic's still a problem on 183 uh, and uh, doesn't really show any signs of, oh my gosh, and a car just uh, had a wreck right here. And we have a Google map that we'd like to show you. Each red dot on this map is a car cruiser out right now all across Metro Atlanta trying to clear all of the ice, all of the snow, and push those cars off of the interstate system. The problem is later today it's going to be sunny, but it is not going to get above freezing, so we have no idea when we are going to finally thaw out. Charlie, Nora. Mike, thanks. The storm is now moving up the East Coast. The Carolinas are also seeing some of the worst conditions. Manuel Bohorkas is in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Manuel, good morning. Good morning, Charlie and Nora. Fayetteville remains under a state of emergency. Schools here will close for a second day. Below me is the expressway, which leads to Fort Bragg. This would normally be the start of the morning rush hour, but you can see hardly any traffic as the Army's largest base is closed for non essential personnel. Plows are working around the clock in North Carolina to clear the streets. Seems like it's icy, so I. Definitely on a sword, and then I stopped, so the person behind me ran right into me. Many communities are experiencing conditions not seen in years. Now towns are rolling out rarely used snow equipment. In South Carolina, many schools are closed. The governor declared a state of emergency. Freezing rain is blamed for traffic accidents, bridge closures, and power outages. Still, the severe conditions aren't stopping some people from enjoying the unusual weather. We're due a snow, so hey, we got it if it's, you know, half inch or whatever. <laughs> but authorities are warning residents about icy roads. Temperatures in this part of North Carolina will not get above freezing until possibly tomorrow. Charlie and Nora.